Good morning, guys. <clears throat> What's going on? This travel time with Paul coming to you live from Pattaya. It's 8 a.m. Thai time. And I wanted to uh, reshoot another video of my luxury condo. I know Austin Holliman already did a video, but I, I wasn't really satisfied with the reaction it got. The video was the last minute thing, so the condo wasn't clean as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to reshoot it, refilm everything, and give you guys a whole nother look on what everything looked like once, once it was clean. So here it is, guys. Okay, this right here. Hello, so did he cop. Oh, I said it wrong. This right here, you don't feel like going too far to go get your coffee. Like going to places, they got a Starbucks here, which is around the corner, or they have an Amazon coffee. But if you want to get your drink on and get you some coffee or get you a smoothie, this is a little spot to come to, but it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. So you can come over here and chill out. They, they, they're not open yet. They open up probably another two hours. This is one of our gyms up here. It's got the sauna. Then we got a gym in the back that has the steam room in it. Now, I'm going to show you guys the inside of one of our other gym, but not, not yet though. Now, if you guys are looking to move in these condos as soon as possible, there's the office right there. They have uh, an office on site and they have staff members on site. So, that's the car garage. I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. The pool guy, that's my best friend. What up, man? How you been? Good? This swimming pool goes all the way around the condo. It's like a man-made river. I know I told you guys that in uh, Austin last, the video Austin filmed of us in this condo. Yeah. Now, if you get a condo on the ground level or whatever, you can easily just open up your patio door. As you see, they got the little uh, rails right there. You can, you can open up the little door and clown your way into the swimming pool just like that from the comfort of your condo without even walk, walking all the way outdoors, getting the, the lobby floor wet. You can just come right in through your back, through the back door or whatever, the patio door. I know it's dope, y'all. Good morning. Where are you from? America. Oh, Chicago. <laughs> now, before I take you guys inside the building, I'm gonna show you guys one of the gyms and one of our other swimming pools. Matter of fact, I think I could cut through this way right here, through the lobby. These buildings, you they, they only go up to like eight stories. This is where you get your utility bills and your water bill and all that good stuff. At the end of the month, they put it in these little boxes. They give you a key for it. Uh, this, this is, the name of these condos are Olympus City Garden and they only go up to like eight floors. They, I think City Garden, they own a, uh, they own a very few locations or whatever, so. They have another one around the corner. It's a big, tall tower. The condos look a whole lot more luxury and they, and they more spacious than these right here. They gonna cost you more. They probably hit your pocket around 20 to 25,000 baht per month. 
Now, this condo has four swimming pools. This is one of them. It has the large one that goes around the whole building. Then it has the three smaller ones like this one right here. This is the steam room. Lately, it's been out of service though. Kind of smells, stinks of mildew in here. Good morning. This is one of the gyms. If you want to get through working out, you can come take your shower in here. Nice shower. And you're not the type that like to use this overhead that wears sprinkles all over your whole body. They got the handheld version. Every condo comes with that also. Now, what I don't like about these gyms at, in the condo, they don't come with all the machines that you really need. Like I like to do squats and I like to do a lot of leg workout. So these gyms at the condo, they're limited with, with the machines that you can use. So I, I walk around the corner to this gym called Tony's, which if you don't want a membership with them, you can spend about 120 bucks per day working out at his gym. Show you guys the other gym that has the sauna. Oh, by the way, let me let you guys see something. Look at my face. Y'all remember in Austin Holliman video? I was a little chubby. Well, I lost a lot of weight since then. That's why all, I don't take all criticism as negative criticism. It was motivation. One guy once said in the video, Paul showing you, Austin Paul, you showing you around all them gyms, but he not using any. Then another guy replied to him, said the only squats Paul doing is in the bathroom. Well, God damn it, I been doing squats to slim down, you know? I needed that, because I didn't realize I was that big in the video my damn self until I watched it. I'm like, damn, where, where did I get so damn big? So, I'm a, I'm a uh, live and work in progress right now, but let me show you guys the other swimming pool and the other gym. This the other swimming pool right here. And this the other gym. Okay, I don't have to show you guys much in here because all the gyms look so much alike. Good morning. Got somebody in there right now. But this is the sauna room. I need to get in there myself because my sign has been acting up lately. So, I'm going to take you guys to the rooftop. That tall building right there is the other city garden location. I was going to move in Denver, but there was no damn way I was about to pay 22000 bucks per month to, to live in a, a so-called luxury condo. This is the Apollo building, which, which stands for building A. If you ever order a pizza, you order anything, you just tell them what building to uh, come to and grab or path that they'll, they'll come straight to your building. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. I'll be coming with uh, brand new content. I will be going back to the metro soon, but to keep, you, to keep you guys entertained, I have a whole lot of uh, stories about my adventures in Thailand and DR, Brazil, and etc. So my content won't be limited just to like, I, I won't be your typical travel blog or whatever. I'm more authentic and more, and more organic. So everything I give you guys will be from the heart. So uh, make sure you like and subscribe, share this video if you care. And we at the rooftop. Okay, this is the rooftop right here. You guys wanna bring your girl up here on a beautiful, cozy Wednesday or when it's not too hot outdoors, this would be the perfect location. You can do your barbecuing and everything up here. And you could, you could damn near see the majority of Pattaya from this rooftop. 
even though these buildings are not that damn big, so. Then you can see other luxury condos and hotels. Now, as you see, looking at some of these neighborhoods near this condo, this, this, a lot of the uh, homes are old, outdated. Almost look a, a little parvish, but I wouldn't say that they just look more old and outdated. Like I told you guys, that building across right there, that's the other city garden location. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, them condos actually come with oven. That's what I love, that's what I do not like about condos in Thailand. I'm American, so quite natural, I like to bake most of my food. I like to bake my chicken. I like to bake uh, something. If I can't barbecue rib or rib tips, then I like to slow cook them in the oven. Or like turkey legs, I like to slow cook that in the oven where the meat is falling off the bone and it's tender. I put it in the oven on uh, 250 for two, two to three hours. Damn turkey leg with that Memphis style barbecue sauce be so damn good, make you wanna wake your mom up from her grave and slap her back to death again. So yeah, over here you gotta get used to uh, cooking everything on top of a damn stove. And I don't think I'll ever get used to that. But yeah, this is the rooftop. And uh, over here in Thailand, they got them buffets where you go to the buffet, they give you these little silver pots uh, where, where you could cook your own food at the table. Well, you could basically do that on this, this rooftop too. Now they used to have a lot of chairs up here. And I think they once had a grill up here where the, it was like a community grill. You could come up here and you could barbecue and throw down. But a lot of that stuff been taken away since I moved to this condo. And I'm also telling you guys something. Uh, if you moving over here during high season, choose wisely. Because yes, I pay 17,000 bucks per month for my condo. And you got guys in this same building paying more than what I'm paying. So it all depends on what agency you go through and what time of the year you come over here. Now, if I had it went through online and did more research and, and then just uh, go straight to the office here, I probably, I probably will only be paying 13,000 bucks per month to live in these same exact condos. Like I said, it all it all depends on who you go through. So just do you do diligence, do your research, and because seventeen thousand bucks per month sound uh, cheap, which it is compared to most luxury places in uh, America right now, you can get these condos a whole lot cheaper. There's a Canadian guy; he's only paying about thirteen thousand bucks per month, and he's on a three month lease. And remember, guys, if you're gonna move in a condo like this, it has to be on a three month lease in order to get them that cheap. Okay guys, now I'm about to take you guys to my condo. Last time I filmed it, it was, it was quite dirty. Like I said, it was a last minute thing. Austin was, was only supposed to come over to cut my hair, but then he liked the way the condos looked. He decided he wanted to do a video vlog on it. But I, I didn't think I was gonna get so much criticism on how filthy they, they, were, they were. So I'm gonna show you guys how my condo look when it's cleaner. Headed to building C, which is home sweet home for me. This is building B right here. Barcelona. Like I told you guys before, you probably wonder 
uh, did he already do a, a vlog on this condo already? Well, I wasn't satisfied with all the reaction I got from it, so I had to uh, shoot one for myself, you know. Okay, we on my floor. Usually this whole uh, hall light, is, I mean this hallway is lit up because it's daytime, they turn the lights on. So it's pretty dark right now. Hall, sweet hall. Okay. Well, we got somebody cleaning up as we speak. Tell me, God, tell me, guys, what do you think in the comment section? Do y'all think it looks a whole lot better than it did last time? Last time I didn't even have my bed made up. I don't even think I had washed the sheets yet before we did that video. And I told you guys about this uh this curtain before right here. Ugh. You can uh, let this up. You can basically like watch your old lady take a shower. Get your motivation before you get your rocks off. Like get your pregame on before the Super Bowl. Then this condo right here came with two TVs. Most of them only come with one. But if you get the one that comes with uh, two TVs, it's gonna cost you a little more. Like I think for the price I would have paid if I only got the, the condo with uh, only one TV, I probably would have only paid about around 1,600 bosses to change per month. Now, a lot of guys gonna get in the comment section and be like, man, that condo's small as hell. Well, welcome to Thailand. Most condos here are very small and tiny. So, over here you get what you pay for. This is not America where, where everything is bigger, where you can get a, a, a condo uh, bigger than most people's living room. I mean, uh, you can get a condo bigger than most people's lux luxury, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Condos are much bigger back home than they are over here. Okay, this the patio. I come out here and I record some of my vlogs. This is why I did Guys Don't Bring Your Heart to Posse Y'all Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. This will give y'all a better view from the top of the swimming pool that goes around the whole condo. As you see, it goes through the middle right there, then it meets back up on the other side. There's the rooftop I was just on a minute ago. AC, I'm America, so I, I got to keep that running. But I'ma tell you, it's gonna cost you in the long run. A lot of things in Thailand may be cheaper, but if you like me and you like to run your AC all the time, that can run you anywhere from 16 to 2,000 bucks per month alone. That's not even included with rent. So guys, they won't tell you that. Now, this wall right here, hold on. Okay. This wall right here, it goes in. You can see the whole bedroom. Then that, that, the AC air could flow better throughout the whole condo. Cause like I said, the condo is not that big, it's small. But this will almost be your average size in Thailand. You, you can find them a whole lot bigger than, bigger than this and cheaper. You can find them uh, bigger than this by the beach and cheaper. But then you get a trade off. Is the hallways are noisy. There's always some type of drama going on. A customer fighting with a freelancer. You gonna always get. But over here in these condos, they're very quiet and they laid back. So, and uh, they not really that close by all the action and the nightlife. But if you like to walk like me, it all that stuff is only like 15, 20 minute walk away or whatever. 
or you could just catch the motorbike for 32 bucks from these condo and, and you could travel all around Pattaya. Then if you if you had a long night out or whatever, you just want to lay up with your girl, you could close this uh this door back, and you guys, if y'all don't feel like lip sitting in the living room watching Netflix or watching your favorite movie, you could just be all cozy, close the curtain, boot up with your girl, and watch movies here all day long. That could be your day off. Like I told you guys before. My only issue with these condos, they do not come with an oven. That would be nice. But America got us spoiled, right? Okay, guys. That's it for today. I, I just wanted to prove some of my critics wrong. Also caught me, caught me off guard, so I let them film the video without doing any cleaning last time. But I said, oh, nah, uh-uh. I can't go out like that, so... This is my way of showing you guys that we do keep this condo clean. Oh, and a woman y'all just saw in the video, that's my friend from Shane Rye. She's real cool. Uh, been knowing her since I've been living in Thailand. You know, she's been had my back. I was just sick for the last three days and she nursed me uh, back to good health or, what, or whatnot, so. But uh, that's all I have to say for now. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, I got more good content coming for you guys. I don't have a large fan base right now, but that, that will soon change. I'm not Austin. I'm, I can only be me. One of a kind, the one and only. The king of my kind. So y'all subscribe to the channel and until next time, deuces, I'm out.